Omega says, too bad, uh, no announcements of uh, DC's new video games. So that's the weird thing about this, right? So James Gunn has said multiple times that he's going to have his DC universe like weave throughout every medium. You know, that's going to be uh, the, the comics, the TV shows, the movies, but also video games. So, okay. TV shows and movies crossing over, that, that makes sense, right? Okay, that's that's a thing that just... I get it, you know? Um, in a lot of ways, they're like sister mediums, so cool. Uh, comics tying into the movies is nothing new. That's that's always been a thing. Um, in fact, sometimes you get comics that tie into movies that are better than the movies themselves, much like the current Flash uh, tie-in comic to the upcoming movie. Uh that book, that book is, like, weirdly better than it has any right to be. Um, but the video game part confuses me. Like, it really confuses me. Like, so, so what, are we gonna get, like, a, like a, like a Sergeant Rock dating sim that ties into a Final Crisis movie at some point? Like, what the, f what's happening? I don't get it. Like, gaming is, like, such a... It's a medium that is so far removed from those other three. Really, those other two. But, you know, I'm, I'm making a, a slight exception for comics. Um, because comics are versatile, are, like, so versatile in and of themselves, they can, like, kind of fit anywhere. Um, but, like... The, I'm not seeing how James Gunn is going to connect the video games to the movies in a way that is meaningful... Uh, or in a way that, like, works. I just don't see that. I don't see that happening. Um, in fact, uh, we saw earlier, um, let me see if I can pull this up on Twitter. Um, there was, uh, a game developer for, um, uh, the upcoming, uh, Suicide Squad game. Um, just lost his shit. Just, just completely was like, nope, nope, that's dumb. Uh, alright, so Dell at Naughty Dog, ah, oh, shut up. Uh, so Dell at Naughty Dog, uh, says James Gunn just stated that DC, uh, actually, I'm saying, let me, let me then move this over, I'll move myself down here. Um... Uh, James Gunn uh, just stated that DC wants the films, games, and anima animation characters to be consistent and played by the same actors. Uh, I'll never work on a DC title again if that's upheld. You've lost your mind if you think a Hollywood uh, actor can outdo uh, Tara Strong, Charlie Quinn, or any voice actor. I agree with that 100%. Um, this is a thing that I've seen um, not just in video games, but mainly it happens in animation uh these like major a-list dramatic actors getting roles as like voice actors that's just i get that you're trying to do this for like you know putting butts in seats and name recognition and all that but voice actors are voice actors for a reason um because their their primary talent is acting with their voice uh, whereas actors don't do that, you know, they, they, they act with their voice definitely, but like that's, you, th those are two radically different, uh, you know, techniques, you know, acting and voice acting. Um, and when it comes to like video games, you know, th this guy goes on, you know, um, forever about it, but, um. Yeah, and, like, these writers and voice actors got to do, like, 100 versions of everything. Uh, they're in the booth doing 600 lines of dialogue. Um, yeah, that's it's it's extensive. Um, so just, I don't know, man. Um, I, I don't quite... I don't quite see how video games are going to tie into this. In fact, I, I really kind of hope they don't. Uh, I, I really kind of like the idea of superhero movies and superhero games being just in their own worlds um 
Because one of the big things that superhero games kind of offer is an alternative if you don't like what the movies are up to or what the TV shows are up to. Uh, that's kind of one of the big reasons why I think uh, Insomniac Spider-Man did so well and resonated with Spider-Man fans um, as, as much as it did. Um, because a lot of Spider-Man fans, myself included, weren't feeling what the MCU was doing with Spider-Man at the time. Um, so Insomniac, Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man PS4, and I guess Spider-Man PS5 by now, was the alternative. It was the thing that we were like, yes, this is what I want. That, you can have your movies over there, we have Spider-Man here. Um, you know, uh, same thing for Batman, you know, if, if you weren't a fan of what Nolan was doing with Batman in live action, and then later what Snyder was doing in live action with Batman... Well, you had the Arkham games, which was, like, for more more or less, and for better or worse, uh, basically Batman the Animated Series, but, like, rated R, you know? Um, so, like, I don't know, that's, that's, that's where I think video games being divorced narratively from the movies... Uh, comes in handy, but I don't know, man. Uh, wait, I'm going to adopt a wait and see attitude on that, but for the time being, man, I'm just not. I'm not with it. Uh, I'm not with that concept at all. Um. <laughs> Charged up.